So Roblox Island's Halloween event is here. So there's a new mini game and there's a new shop guy right here. Now you can go ahead and queue up with a size party of four people and then go up to this board and click F to queue in. Now by doing this event, you will go ahead and get rewarded tickets where you then you can go ahead and come to this hooded figure in the hub and then click redeem tickets and then you can go ahead and see you can get these items right here. Now the two best items is the boss plushie and the cat spawn egg. So this is part one of the Halloween update. So we are going to be seeing a part two next week with more rewards like new weapons and some cauldrons and some stuff to place on your island like furniture. But now let me actually go ahead and queue up and I'll explain how this actually works. Alright, so once you actually load in, you'll spawn in that cave right there. Now you want to head around this lake looking thing right here, and then you don't want to go into the graveyard yet, and then you want to walk all the way up this hill, where there might be a green door there that will open, and then you just want to walk up and go straight ahead to this little mysterious figure right in front of me. Now what you're going to do is just talk to him, and now he's going to give you a stone shovel. Now you're going to head all the way back down here, and then you will see a graveyard on to your right. Now you will go ahead and dig up on the these little piles of dirt and you should be able to find what he needs so it is randomized every single time just to let you guys know and there we go we just got the thing what he wanted and now you just want to head back up to him and talk to him and then you just want to go ahead and talk to him and he will open this gate now you just want to follow this path pretty much all the way to the haunted house but yeah, pretty much you just want to walk all the way up here through these gates and then you just want to find a way into the mansion. Now everything is boarded up and you want to come around to this little, like, what do you call this thing? Trap door looking thing. And then you just want to hold F to enter the mansion. Now you have entered the mansion. Now pretty much when you walk in the mansion, you're not going to do anything downstairs, but you want to go straight upstairs into this first room right in front of you. Open the door and now you've got this little puzzle thing. If you guys didn't know, I actually have members Memberships. Now you can go ahead and click the join button next to the subscribe button and go ahead and join my membership for one dollar Now this supports the actual channel itself and me by just making videos for you guys But yeah, now let's get back to the video now How you actually going to go ahead and actually solve this is you're gonna have to go and find the, all these yellow notes Around the actual haunted house and then if you actually click F to read it It actually tells you that the red candle right here. That's what the swatch like little splash thing means and then you actually have up here a candle what is lit that means that the red candle has to be lit then you go to this one over here and it says that the orange one is not lit so we're gonna keep the orange one off so these notes are always in the same place. There's always going to be one just at the bottom of the staircase right here. So there are two notes in here and one note down there. But then the next notes are kind of off to the left of this door and then the right of that door where there's two other rooms. Now you're going to open this door and there's going to be a note right here sitting on this chair. And just to let you know that these are not going to always be the same. These are going to be different. So this could be red next time what could not be lit or something like that. But then we have this one over here and then that room is done for those notes and then the next two notes are all the way on the right hand side of that middle door into this door right here. Now for this one, you're going to find one right here. And then to find the next one, you're going to have to face all of these statues facing in towards each other. So their head is facing towards in the middle. Now, once we've done that, this bookshelf is basically going to open. And then you're basically going to go ahead and get this note right here. Now, once you've done that puzzle, you'll go ahead and open this cabinet where you can go ahead and collect a potion. And now to actually go ahead and, like get to the actual boss you're going to go ahead and actually complete three missions and there's one in every room so you get the potion from the middle room here and then if you actually go ahead and go into the left room where it's kind of a nature area you're gonna have to mine these rocks now usually there's always gonna be a note here where it's pretty much useless these letters but then you're gonna go into the, this rock and you're gonna find a flower now this room is pretty straightforward you just have to mine rocks so it's pretty straightforward now if we go to the other room on the other side Pretty much how you're actually going to go ahead and get this one is pretty much when you face all of these together, you're going to open this door and then you're going to have it right up here. So basically you do two in one for the middle and this one while you're here. Now, once you've got all of these, you're going to head back to the middle room and then you're going to walk up to this pot right here and then click F to add the ingredients. 
And now it is going to turn blue. Now we can go all the way back down the staircase, hold out our sword, and then turn left once we've gone down the staircase, walk through here, and then we should be able to turn right, and you should see the boss right in front of us. So what you're gonna do is just walk up and then pretty much just fight the boss. Now, pretty much when you're fighting this boss, I usually put out an auto click, uh, what's pretty straightforward. I've, I've done a couple videos on how to download it, but pretty much you're just gonna defeat this boss. Now, when you're actually fighting the boss, you'll end up getting a score, and now this depends on how much tickets you'll get at the end. First place will go ahead and get 50, and then second place will get 40 tickets, third place will get 30 tickets, second place will get 20 tickets. Now, pretty much this boss is pretty easy, and it will go invisible and duplicate itself, and pretty much all you gotta do is just kill its clock and then you go back to fighting itself. Now when you actually go ahead and die, you pretty much just respawn in the hallway what you walked in previously, so it's pretty straightforward. Did I explain that quite well then? I don't know. Now once you've actually killed the boss, you might be a little confused on well, what's happened. Why haven't I won? Why haven't I got my tickets or whatever? Now the boss has gone ahead and given you this like ticket token thing and you're gonna go ahead and have to put that in the fireplace and then boom you've gone ahead and won. And now I have tested that if you do just sit there and do nothing you will go ahead and get zero tickets. You have to at least hit the boss at least once to get one score to at least get 20 tickets. But yeah pretty much with those tickets what I just got you can go ahead and go back to this hooded figure guy in the hub and you can go ahead and buy all this furniture or you could buy the boss plushie or the cat spawn egg. Also, one of my friends is hosting a 5k Robux giveaway, so go ahead and click the link in the description or pinned comment to go ahead and enter that 5k giveaway. Now, to get more tickets, you can go ahead and go to the My Achievements and actually go to Events, where you can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and actually complete these events to get more AP points and to actually get more tickets. As you can see, if you defeat the boss 20 times, you get 150 tickets. If you go ahead and get both of the um, boss plushie and the cat's pet spawn egg, you can get 250 Haunted Mansion tickets. And then if you actually participate in it 11 times, you get 150 Haunted Mansion event tickets. And also before I forget, you need level 30 combat to enter this game mode, so if you're confused why it's not letting you win, make sure you have level 30 combat. Okay, so I've just got a person who's gonna showcase me the new cat pet, and Lala has just got it, and it looks so cool. So if I go ahead and go free cam, it is basically just a see-through cat, and it's pretty bright neon as well. It's so cute at the front though, with its like whiskers and everything thing like that and it's got a heart in its front as well it's kind of funny but it's pretty cool pet in my opinion it, it is floating what's what's kind of strange but like it's so cute in my opinion so yeah um that that's what it looks like Link to Lala's channel in the description for helping me out by showcasing this new pet. But if you want to see what you get by killing a hundred slime kings, click on this video right up here. 